Healthcare topics you need and wellness tips you deserve, all straight from the doctors themselves. Maayong Adlaw Cebu, I'm Kriya Padilla Ruleda from CDN Digital together with the hospital at Maayo and this is Maayong Adlaw Doc. In the last episode of Maayong Adlaw Doc, we talked about back pain issues together with Dr. Jeremy Flordelis. Now, if you want to check out the previous episodes, please visit our CDN Digital's Facebook page, website, or YouTube channel. And of course, now we're back for more health topics that you should know more about right and straight from the doctors themselves. But before we head over to our last episode for Season 5, please check out this video from the hospital at Maayo Cardiology Unit. The hospital at Maayos Cardiovascular Unit is a non-invasive unit that offers a wide range of diagnostic procedures for patients with suspected cardiovascular problems. The unit is equipped with top-of-the-line echocardiographic and vascular machines and systems. Their unit is also staffed with specially trained and certified cardiac and vascular sonographers who work together with cardiologists in performing diagnostic procedures and interpretation of various tests. Here in one of Cebu's bustling cities, Mandawe, the hospital at Maayo is designed to give you the care and services you deserve. They prioritize your health, put your needs on top, and make sure to give you a holistic medical experience. Now for today's episode, we will be talking about hypertension. So, let's learn more about this topic today from our guest doctor. Our guest doctor for today is a graduate of Doctor of Medicine from the Cebu Institute of Medicine, where she is also an associate professor at present. She is a fellow of the Philippine College of Physicians, Philippine College of Cardiology, and Philippine Society of Vascular Medicine. She is the chairman department of internal medicine at the hospital at Maayo. Let's welcome our guest for today, Dr. Maria Barbara Destajo. Mayang Adlaw, Doc. Kumusta? Mayang Adlaw. I'm good. Yes, and welcome to Maayong Adlaw, Doc. Now, our episode for today is very interesting pod because we're going to talk about something uh, very common, no? As in, it's so common and it's hypertension. But before we really talk about that, I'd like to know, unsa yun ang pinaka-basic or pinaka sa tawag na normal na blood pressure for adults like us? Uh, very good question. No? So, we usually consider um, normal blood pressure to be less than 120 mm -hmm. and over less than 80. That's the normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, beyond that, there's a chance na hypertensive ka? Well, yes. Um, we actually would uh, classify or classify hypertension. No? So, in the American Heart Association uh, guidelines, usually, pag blood pressure ni mo is uh, uh, more than 120 to uh, more than 80, so usually elevated na siya. But we classify stage 1 hypertension for BP of 130 to 18, over uh, 89. Up to 89. Then stage two, if you already reach a uh, blood pressure of 140 over 90 or higher. How are these? Uh, okay. Before ko mga mga na kung how are these uh, kaning levels no significant. Kanig yun unta. Kaya ako, I always get confused. I'm sure dili lang ako. A lot of us get confused. Nga nung moingon hypertensive related na siya sa heart or dili? Unsa ba? Oh, very good question. Of course, uh, of course, very much related to the heart, no? Mm. Okay, it's uh, the heart is the center of the cardiovascular mm. system. So anything related to the heart, like blood pressure, kanang mga stroke. Part gina siya sa, sa cardiovascular system. Why so, is hypertension related to the heart ganit dok? Because um, as you all know, the heart pumps blood. So the the, the pressure that uh, you get from your uh, heart is the one that usually kanang uh, circulates uh -oh. in your cardiovascular so system. So does that mean nga kung taas imong blood pressure, your heart is working? Hard. Extra hard. Yes. So that means if your um, if your if you have elevated blood pressure, kung taas kag blood pressure, ang imong heart stress sad na. Mm -hmm. So that will lead to uh, complications 
in the future. So high blood pressure is your hypertension. Yes. Oh, and then you mentioned already na we have different stages. Are those the classifications? Yeah. So I mentioned earlier, um, stage one, so 130 to 139 mm -hmm. ang systolic, mm -hmm. then 80 to 89 ang diastolic. Mm -hmm. So stage two, uh, 140 over 90 and mm -hmm. above. Mura siyang cancer po nun ako eh. <laughs> stage, stage. Yeah. So, what does it mean kung stage 1 lang? Kung saan man na siya? Well, uh, basically, it's just kanang gaklasify okay, ka? lang ka. No, but we <laughs> usually treat. Basta ma-enter na ka sa, uh, ma-label na ka as hypertensive, we treat oh, the okay, hypertension. Okay. But how do we diagnose hypertension other than high blood pressure? Is that the only way? We usually measure blood pressure in the office, so in the clinic. Mm -hmm. But we don't label a patient na high blood ayon at first, uh -huh. no? Uh -huh. Paibasin na, na stress lang siya, anxious lang siya. Ah, okay. So usually it requires uh, two uh, two blood pressure recordings on two separate visits. So for example, karon yan na kasi clinic, then taas si mong BP, hindi pa ko kaingon nga high blood ka dayon, uh -huh. no? So I will just say, oh, come back after a week, I will remeasure your BP uh -huh. if taas gyapon then i will i will label you as hypertensive Mano di i doc what can be the factors that would or what could yeah factors that could affect your blood pressure you mentioned kanang unsa to basi stress lang yeah ka, so um factors like for example number 1 um for example uh, the, there are patients na kung muad to sa clinic kulbaan sila mm -hmm. so mutaas silang bp mm -hmm. Or there are some patients nga anxious sila kung sa ah, so sa doctor. Yes. Also, ah. So kung anxious sila, medyo musaka sa dilang BP. Mm -hmm. So sometimes gikan sila naglakaw or gikan sila nagkaon, mutaas sa dilang BP. So Gahangos, Yes, we usually um, measure the BP when the patient is uh, relaxed, mm -hmm. no seated na siya for example, mga 10 minutes, no. Then we measure the blood pressure. Dili siya siya i-measure nga gikan siya naglakaw mm -hmm. or gikan siya nagsakaghagdan, mm -hmm. mo measure ka din. Of course, mo taas kina ilang blood pressure. So, dapat nakarelax sila, mm -hmm. mga 5 to 10 minutes, then uh, we measure the BP. Kung taas, then we reassess. After a week siguro, pabalikon ni mo, then if taas gyo, then we label. But okay. it's different, the eye. If Pag abut palang ang BP tag 160 over 110 na, then the patient oh, is complete, okay. completely relaxed. No? So, taas na yung BP. Kato mga giingo na ko, like the borderlines or mga 140 over 90 lang. So, kana. Pada pa na ni mo i-reassess. Curious lang ko dako. Let's say you're not really hypertensive, but you suffer from anxiety disorder. And then, permi lang ka mauna, musaka imong BP. Waha. What are the well? Uh, of if you are anxious, if you are stressed, it can also lead to hypertension eventually. Okay. So, uh, one of the one of the causes, no, na makapa mm -hmm. hy hypertension sa pasyente is stress. Mm -hmm. So when you're anxious, permi ka stress, kay permi ka kulbaan or permi ka kanang kanang ga anticipate of something bad. Mm -hmm. So, kana it can also lead to hypertension. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Um, what are the different nabay types? Kanina ni ka classification, but are there also other types of Yes, uh, very good question. No? So uh, there are two types. Mm -hmm. One is primary or essential hypertension. That means to say well, I other cause. So it could be genetic, it yes. could be secondary to your lifestyle, mm -hmm. it could be obesity. Mm -hmm. But kung secondary hypertension, it is um, secondary to something else, other oh. medical conditions. So, okay. for example, na a kidney problem. Mura siya comorbidity, uh, not necessarily. No, it's like uh, you have a problem, like for example, kidney disease that led to you developing hypertension. Mm -hmm. So, that's secondary. Mm -hmm. But ang primary, which is the most common, mm -hmm. usually uh, wala siya cause or it could be genetic. Mm -hmm acquired from yes. your, or your parents, parents or even lifestyle like yes. sedentary uh -huh. or like exercise then your uh -huh. diet is high salt diet uh -huh. so okay kana. so kamo dili na mo mukha unog parat okay and walking pun mo ha yeah <laughs> yeah because earlier um off cam si doc mentioned that at least man lang walking right yeah brisk walking is uh the minimum requirement that's something that can help prevent Yes, hypertension. of course. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, who are at risk of hypertension? 
So, um, the risk factors for hypertension oh, include uh, age, which is the older you get, the mm -hmm. more chances of winning. <laughs> <laughs> the older you get, the more chances of you having hypertension. Yes. Um, vices, like smoking, um, alcohol mm -hmm. intake, or you have other comorbid conditions like mga chronic kidney disease, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sedentary lifestyle, uh, high salt diet. So those are uh, risk factors for developing hypertension. Um, when you say high salt diet, but what, does that mean uh, if you're hypertensive and then you have to watch your diet, uh, does that mean uh, totally tang tang yun ang salt from mm, your food? No, or? not necessarily wala gyo salt, but uh, there's a recommended amount of salt for hypertensive patients, so less than 2 grams per day. So, kung hypertensive na ang patient, so minimize the, the, the salt in the diet, but not totally eradicating mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, you mentioned as you age, no? How about unsay youngest na age na possible ka makaget ng hypertension? Well, it depends. If like, for example, as I've mentioned, secondary siya. So those ah, patients okay. with secondary hypertension uh -huh. usually have the hypertension at uh -huh. an earlier age because they have underlying yes, conditions. Yes. The primary hypertension sa karon panahon, no? Mm -hmm. So, dili na bitaw siya mo matter kay na ay mga like for example, um, kaning mga call center agents, the graveyard shift, even 20 plus mm -hmm. hypertensive na sila, mm -hmm. or even those nga grabi ang lifestyle, so sedentary, yes. wala exercise, yes. grabi ang diet, so okay. regardless, 20s hypertensive na sila. Yeah, because talk ba sometimes we associate hypertension with um, big people mm. no and sometimes like if you have a friend then you discover that she's very slim healthy you ko nga ha hypertensive ka actually it's not really yeah. koan, it's not really just the lifestyle or the size of the person as you mentioned it could also be genetics yes right? uh, actually uh, that is one misconception no mo na uban mo ingon sa clinic dok daot mong ko dok di mong mm -hmm. ko o baboy nga yes. high blood ko so number one, you have to ask na by uh, genetics. So mm -hmm. kaliwat. Mm -hmm. Number two, unsa may iyang lifestyle. Yes. So it doesn't it doesn't equate na daot ka di ka ma high blood or uh -oh. kanang wala kay kanang wala ka ga exercise pero wala ka ga kaon o mga parat di ka ma high blood. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really uh, equate nga in anak so. Because sometimes no um we take care so much of our body in a sense now we exercise because we really want to look good but at the same time we also eat all the yeah <laughs> bad food that can actually contribute to hypertension anyway sige doc symptoms of hypertension how do we know that we are hypertensive well in fact there are people na hypertensive but wala sila symptoms but oh. ang common is uh, Headaches, blurring of vision, no, mahanap ang pananaw, labad ulo, usually sakit ilang diri, tangkugo, or maglipong-lipong sila, or magkapoy ang lawas, or Gosh, even... Ako mo na tanan. <laughs> <laughs> or even, kana, mga chest pain, palpitations, it could be a symptom of your Samut, hypertension. Samot, ako na <laughs> I don't know bitaw. <laughs> but uh, kaniha uh, to the general public, um, dili bot pa sa bot nga wala kay gibati, di ka high blood ha. Kay there are, are there are people or there are patients actually na uh, I have patients nga ang BP 180 over 100 po wag gibati. So but yeah. So, what's a, what can happen to people like that? Na wala gid sila to gibati pero taas kay BP and then you know, for the longest time, they have not addressed that. Kaya wala man sila gibati. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why ako, uh, sa ako mga patients, I usually tell them na mas di ko ganahan na na. Mm. Kaya wala kay warning. Okay. So you can't prepare. So you can't. You don't know your threshold. What mm. if 180 ka karun? Pag 190, mas stroke na ka. Ah. So mas delikado siya actually. Kaya wala kay wala man lang kay warning ah. ang uban uy labad akong ulo oh. inom kong tambal kay oh. taas akong BP kana sila they are just walking nga wala gibati so you don't know basin atakihon sila anytime so they're like walking time bombs no precisely yeah so anytime ba they could get kanina po di na po ko ka relate <laughs> hypertension and stroke oh nga no man well uh, uh, kung high blood ka it increases your risk for stroke 
no? But there but are... stroke is in the brain? Yeah, but there are two types of stroke. Okay. So, risk factor sa stroke is hypertension. Okay. But if like, for example, I mentioned two types of uh, stroke, number one is ischemic katumbara. Mm. Pwede ka mag-stroke nga barado imong oh, ugat. Yes. Pwede ka mag-stroke nga hemorrhagic. Uh -huh. So ang hemorrhagic is tungod sa kataas mo BP mo bleed. Ay, so so well, hypertension can lead to that. Okay. So related siya. So scary gyud ay ang hypertension, no? What are the other complications of hypertension, doc? Well, complications daghan. Number 1, heart attack. Mm -mm. Number 2, stroke. Number 3, pwede ka mag aortic dissection ka nang mapunit ang imong ugat, ang imong aorta. Number 3, mm -hmm. pwede ka mag renal failure. Ano ang aortic something doc? Aortic dissection. dissection? Oh, what happens to you there? Ka nang mapunit imong kinadak ang ugat sa lawas. And then you will die. Yes, depende. Oh, oh, de well, depende. <laughs> depende siya sa depende siya kung unsa nga type sa okay. dissection, but if it's usually ascending, usually kada high mortality yun na. Mm -hmm. Kung descending uh, aortic aneurysm, usually medical management as long as wala complications. But again, it could be fatal. Mm -hmm. So other other complications of your hypertension, heart failure. Okay. So kato um Heart attack, yeah, stroke, stroke, dissection, uh -oh. renal failure, heart failure, even blindness. Pwede ka mabuta wow. sa kataas sa yung blood pressure. So we always think na it's diabetes that can cause you blindness. Dili di ay no, pwede pati hypertension. hypertension. Yes. Oh, that's scary. Ka scary man yung trabaho. Uy, dagan ka scary <laughs> things madugog. <laughs> dagan ka madiscover, or dagan ka mahibawaan. Right, Doc. Okay. But this is uh, this is a good uh, avenue to really, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm glad to be part of this because mm -hmm. I want to educate people because there are a lot of exactly. misconceptions Yes. Regarding hypertension, oh. uh, i-ano lang sa mga, i-disregard lang ba? Oh, okay lang, no? Yeah. Mm. Maingon sila, aw, oh, inan na na ato, tambal mm. lang. And then they don't change their lifestyle, their yes. diet, they don't, still, they don't exercise. I'm actually talking about myself. Okay. Dili ito, Doc. Kanaana ba, no? Now, we have to take these things seriously. Yes. Yeah. We can't just act when it when everything is too late already, yeah. right? Mubalik lang po, Doc. Ah, symptoms of your hypertension gani is katong Mga head headaches, headaches, blurring of vision, uh -oh. or palpitations, chest pain, shortness of breath. Those are uh, the so common ones. So when you ones. feel some of those, you have to visit your doctors. Already. Yes, yeah. ideally, ideally, uh -oh. like if there's something wrong sa imong gibati or unusual siya, you have, you go seek consult. Sa right people, dili sa mga uban tao lang, like sa silingan lang, mga yung kag-advice. Of course, you have to seek advice from experts. That is so true because sometimes they feel like, Uy, si kanina, aman po din ani, pwede ko manigibati. Mungutan na na lang taong sige, reseta sa doctor niya. Kana, good. Kana, number one, I always I always encounter patients na, Dok, na high blood ko. Nagtumar kong tambal sa parehas akong silingan, kay high blood man po siya. So it does not uh, apply to you. What could be applicable to that person? Pwede hindi na siya para ni mo. Ngano gani dok? Kay basin like for example, kato siya, iyang blood pressure mubo ra, dili kay taas. So ang iyang dosage gamay ra. So ikaw, what if ikaw taas kay kag blood pressure niya so, imong Yeah, imong dosage not enough as the ones yes. nga gitake niya. So yes. dili na siya ni mo i-equate nga Ay, mau man to iyang tambal, mau usad akong imnon. Which is common. I, I encounter that oh, in the oh. clinics. Oh, Ito, we hear that na. a lot of times. Yeah. So, you know, we would like to emphasize that things like that are very dangerous. Ba? Yes. Because, you know, mau ingon ka nga, kaya ino man kong tambal. Ganong stroke man ko. Mm. Ano dia yung tambal? Tama. Iya man tong tambal. Di man na iya. Yeah, Mohan, correct. Yun. Oh, yun na. Hmm, kana. Sige. Now, we don't really have to be scared man po of hypertension, no? Because there is a way to manage this, right? Of course. Oh, oh. So, mas maayong, mas maayo kabaw ka, kaya mas yes. makaandam ka, oh, mas oh. makatambal ka. That is so true. Di ba kay other people, Doc, what they do is, na sila ba't yung gamay? Kana, you mentioned shortness of breath, sakit ng pugo, ano, ah, di lang, wala rin eh, di lang ko. Ano, di mang kapacheck up, ay, unsa pa ka na akong madiscover nga na, di na lang yes. mahadlock, no? Actually, 
Actually, some of the patients <coughs> yun, nga in ana no, uh, Pinoy man yun. Sa Pinoy, usually, ay, madadara man. <laughs> uh, okay man, kaya pa man. So, kana ang attitude, dapat i-address yun na siya. But, of course, uh, kung mga in ana dapat magpa-check up yun. Kay, para matambalan oh, sa sakto. So, it's better na we know what we have so it can be managed properly. And ako yung joke, ana ah, usually. Sige. Ang akong joke, usually akong ingan, walay mahay nag-una. <laughs> ang mahay na gid sa ulahi. Correct. So that, muna. That's true. Okay, before it's too late, before mo set in ang complications, at least you know, mm-hmm. no, kabaw ka mo tambal. That's right. So, Sige. So how do we treat hypertension? Okay, very good question. So ang hypertension, usually we start off good with um, lifestyle and dietary modification. So mm. as I've said before, exercise. So, mag-exercise, ang minimum requirement nato sa exercise is 30 to 45 minutes a day of moderate intensity na exercise, at least 5 times a week. So, wow. uh, ang moderate intensity, very minimum ha, is brisk walking. Okay. Brisk walking, ayaw sa nang galakaw ka, mura galakaw ka sa mall. mall. <laughs> <laughs> brisk walking a little bit faster. And then, 30 to 45 min- mm-hmm. minutes per day, 5 times a week. No, sa sa dietary factors is low salt good low salt low fat diet and avoid kani mga sugar sweetened beverages and alcohol sodas oh. and of course smoking cessation kung okay. smoker ang patient mm-hmm. and there are medications for hypertension mm-hmm. but as i've said ganina dili tanan uh, tambal Uh, for example, mo na yung itake, mo sa di mong itake. Yes. So it depends. Mm-hmm. So it depends on on the level of blood pressure, on um, your other comorbidities. Yes. Mo na mong consider before we start the medication. Okay. Every patient has different circumstances, lifestyles, yes. oh, and it has to be kanang tailored to yes, their. Yes. Tailored to uh, each patient. Dili siya di kahon nga kung mo ni mo sa tanan. So mo na. Yeah, so you really have to visit your doctor para they can like, yeah. evaluate everything about you and yeah. give you the right medication. Yes, that's no, that's doc? very very important. Mm. Sige. Oh, I have this question. What is kuno the recommended diet and exercise? Ah, mauna to imong gisulti. Mm. So low salt, Uh-oh. low fat. So exercise good at exercise least five times good. a week. Mm. Five times a week. Ang minimum requirement ng yun is 30 to 45 minutes. Ma, ma cure ba ang hypertension, doc? Mawala ba na siya or? Very very good question, cause that's what I always emphasize, mm. you know. So hypertension. Once you're hypertensive, hypertensive na yun ka. Um, But the medication that you take is the one controlling your blood pressure or you change kag lifestyle diet so makontrol imong hypertension so, so lifetime ang medication yes mo nang maintenance ah okay now we Then, know <laughs> <laughs> kay mo na uh, if i have to address, uh, say it no na Uh, I get patients na mayon sila ay doc high blood ko sa una karon dili na o, or doc um naginom kog tambal one month then okay na mm-hmm. then niun lang ko then karon nasa clinic kay taas Balik. na sa dang BP oh. so uh, you don't actually stop the medications oh. because once you're taking the medication you control yeah so if you have your blood pressure checked wala okay lang ka pero your hypertension will always be there na yun. Yes. That's why you take your maintenance meds. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, this is very, <laughs> very eye-opening bitaw. Again, no, as I've mentioned earlier, this is very common. But there are a lot of misconceptions about this. Yes. Oh, and I'm so glad that you joined us this afternoon, I'm dog. glad too. <laughs> Anything, any last uh, messages for our... Viewers. Uh, for the viewers, again, um, uh, what I always tell my patients, no, to invest on your health. So investing on your health means eating a healthy diet, engaging in physical activity, your regular exercise, and uh, seeking consult. No, consult your doctor and um, follow the advice of experts, yes, not of just course. your silingan <laughs> or anybody. Nga dili man sa expert in the field. So, um, ako, like I always say, kung like for example, senior citizen, at least man lang, twice a year, mm. magpa-check 
ka, yes. no? Uh, for those patients na may mga abnormalities, dapat follow up good with the labs, no? So like abnormal imo cholesterol, check after three months, reevaluate if ever there's a need to 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 adjust the medication. So kana importante ang follow up, regular check up and follow ups. Mm. Again, because hypertension, hypertension is a lifetime. Ng yes, it's a lifetime a disease. disease. Oh. You should not uh, take it, take it for, for granted, granted because That's of right. the complications. So, kami ray malipay. Tayo mo dagan among patients. But anyway, yes. yeah, it's 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 sad that there are a lot of misconceptions. No, so we want to correct it and we want to educate you people. The hypertension right. is uh, a lifelong disease. And you have to take it seriously. And thank you very much for educating us today, Dr. Barbara. Thank, thank you, you so much. And we hope to have you again. Sure. In one of in the future episodes. Sure. Thank you, Doc. No problem. Thank you. And that's it for our last episode for Maayong Adlaw Doc Season 5. Now, thank you everyone for joining us today. And please share this episode to your friends and relatives so they may also learn from our topics today. Now, from their promise of Maayo, which in Cebuano means be well, discover a new healthcare experience here at Cebu at the hospital at Maayo. And of course, if you want to know more about the hospital at Maayo, please visit their Facebook page or their website or please check out these numbers below. Again, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Kriya Padilirulada from CDN Digital. See you again next time.